Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for another shave. El Chingo One is back. <laughs> Excited for this shave tonight because I have a new soap in the den. Well, actually trifecta. And that's from First Line Shave. This is a new soap. St. Louis Barbershop. So happy and excited to try this new barbershop scent from Michael Riley at First Line Shave. This comes out tonight, so make sure you get this because this is the banger right here. This is truly intoxicating scent, and y'all know when I say intoxicating, it's because it's a must-have for me. And I really enjoyed this scent here, and I can't wait to use it tonight. <laughs> Let's talk about the label here. This label is from uh, Razor Ray Designs. If you can see that there, it says Razor Ray Designs. The neon logo for Barbershop. You can see it there. First line shave logo. Made in the USA. In the uh, FLS 3.0. Newest base. Current base for Michael. First line shave. And uh, this is one awesome label here. It's very attracting. The colors. The skull. The straight razor. <laughs> Two straight razors, and you can see the two straight razors there that have Michael symbol there, the triangle for first line shave, the pomodoro uh, uh, skull, and then just the neon effect towards the uh, the label is just is very eye catchy, very popping, very great looking, great label design here from uh, Ray Ray Designs. He did an awesome job producing this label here. And this here is a uh, alley in St. Louis. And uh, the arch there, it's uh, part of St. Louis too. <laughs> and as you can see here, it has like a neon effect. It says St. Louis Barbershop right here on the uh, front of the label. And it has the uh, barbershop uh, pole. And then here goes the alley. And that alley represents uh, a haunted alley. It says that this, in the description below because of the... Uh, stacked bodies that uh that they had there in that alley and it's just haunted as it says here in the uh description i will put in the description down below so you guys can have a uh a good reading on this but yeah this is what this hope is and uh it's inspired from the scent asylum And Asylum is a, an expensive cologne. No affliction at all. But I want to say that uh, uh, Asylum is a really expensive line of cologne. And I looked this up and it's over $200. Like $250 for, for a nice bottle of cologne. I don't remember the size. I think it's 2.5. I might be mistaken. But it's really an expensive cologne. And I'm so happy to have a dupe here that represents that uh, fragrance in the shave soap right here. You can't beat that, you know, when you get just a luxury scent and a soap. And uh, like I was mentioning, I'm really happy to try this tonight. I know the 3.0 is fabulous, fantastic uh, base that I uh, enjoy using when I do it. It's a top-notch luxury base, in my opinion, that Michael uh, made here and... Uh, Nothing but great words for the base here. It's just a very great dance lather, creaminess. You get cushion, slickness. It's superior. And I mean that with all my heart. And I got to give lots of love to uh, Michael for uh, up in his game. You know, he he just produces banger scents, scent after scent and after scent. I uh, reached out to Michael and told him that I was very pleased with this scent here. And uh, I am. Every time... I get a scent from Michael. It just keeps getting better and better. And he's getting really, really awesome at this. <laughs> and it's a privilege to buy his soaps. They really are. But the scent notes of the soap are. St. Louis Barbershop is inspired by the fragrance Asylum. Roja Dove. No affliction. This is an aromatic fougere fragrance with top notes of grapefruit, lemon, bergamot, lime, thyme. Galbium and Arts Artmesia. I hope I said that right. If I butchered any of these scent notes, I'm sorry. Middle notes are vetiver, Jupiter, berries, 
black currant, apple, pink pepper, cedar, capital oil, and naga matha. I don't know what that is. It's a scent note. <laughs> Lily the Valley, jasmine, rose. Love rose scents. I love just rose, period, you know, and floral scents is my jam. I love it. Base notes are ambergris, leather, vanilla, benzoin, and landanum. This is in a 3.0 base. And uh, great ingredient list. I'll be putting the description list down below as well. Uh, Michael, like I was mentioning, he's producing. These are new bombs here. Um, I wanted to try his bomb and he was very generous and kind enough to let me get this on before release. So I want to say thank you, Michael, for this uh, special opportunity that you gave me to uh, try your scent here before release. It's already, be it's today already and I already have it in my hand. So thank you very much for letting me purchase this from you. But this is a new bomb here. Can't wait to try it. It comes in a glass bottle. And Michael always tries to uh, color fit his color scheme in the bottles. If you haven't noticed that already, it matches just the color of the label there, as you can see there. And this comes in a pump type press uh, cap. You press, it has a cap, and then you press down to get the uh, product out. But yeah, I can't wait to use that. <laughs> I'll be putting all the ingredients for each item down below if you're interested to watch and look at. And I also got to have the trifecta here. I got the trifecta with the bomb. This is the EDP here. And I'm <laughs> just excited all around. I'm so happy with this scent here because it's absolutely intoxicating once again. Here's a five ounce aftershave bottle, square bottle. And this came like the release of Katua. If you haven't tried that one, that's another banger from Michael. The one with the Firebird in the front. The... Uh, the black, orange, red label with the bird fire. That's uh, the same bottle this came in when it first released. And I, I have that here in my uh, in my drawer. But this is the square bottle, five ounce. And this is uh, five ounces, it says here, as the label says. Sorry for uh, my camera not zooming in. But yeah, that's what that is. And uh, really excited. <laughs> I got a uh, a beer here that I want to open up and say cheers to Michael for uh, this phenomenal scent here. If you don't, don't know who Michael is, he represents law enforcement. And he's a great brother to me, and he's been a great friend ever since I met him. I've tried out all his bases. He was very kind enough when I first met him. To send sample bases of all the trial trial bases he sent out to me to try and they were all great from uh one i believe to five and then he came out with version one two and then version three here which i was explaining phenomenal base <laughs> cheers my brother michael keep doing what you're doing i really appreciate you for all that you do and i uh, keep doing the awesomeness and i uh, bless you out there in your uh, line of duty work and uh, bless your family as well. Cheers, everyone. This is a stone uh, Buena Vista salt and lime lag uh, lager. <laughs> Cheers. Just a little sip. Nothing not too crazy just to get me, set me in the mood. But yeah, can't wait to try this scent here. I got my brush already soaking. And this is, this is in the same color scheme as the label. You know me, I always have to match up. And uh, yeah, this is in my El Chingon mug that Rafa gave me a while back. Rafa is also a, uh, a uh, design label maker for, uh, for soap makers, artisans, especially Michael. <coughs> He's done soap label uh, design for Michael. And uh, I appreciate Rafa as well. Very talented artist. So is Razor, Razor Designs here. I just love this phenomenal looking label here. <laughs> just can't say enough about it. It's, it's truly a pleasure to have. Opening the puck there is very bright. 
bright um, scent, which you all know I love bright scents. And to tell you what I smell off the puck here, it's a very strong citrusy scent here, but that's not all it smells like. Well, uh, that's what you get off the top, but we'll see when we lather it here. Uh, what uh, else I pick up in my nose, my sniffer. But uh, let me, uh, I took all the water off my knot, so. Let's start the load in here. Beautiful uh, pour there, as you can see. I even reached out to Michael and told him that I love the pour. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing well, and I appreciate everyone's support once again. And thank you for joining me tonight. This is a really special moment right here. Because it's a no soap release and I support Michael very much so. Because he's a great artist and he's came a long way, you know, to doing what he's doing. I remember he came out with the blue label, red label, green label, label and after that he just produced banger after banger of a scent. And I truly mean that with my all oh my heart. You know what does not more. I'm using a Wolf Whiskers brush tonight, and this knot ha is a Badger silver tip, which I'm not really happy with because it does not uh, provide backbone like I want it to. It's very uh, floppy in my opinion, and uh, I believe this is a Maggard's knot. But, uh, yeah, it's very floppy, and I'm going to send this to Milton the Wizard to get a uh, a fresh knot on there, a, uh, a, a better knot than this one here. <laughs> this is a somewhat dense 24 millimeter silver tip knot, and I will show you pictures of it after my video. I can't show you pictures of it right now because... Uh, I'm here lathering it and it's not showing very much, but I will uh, provide pictures in the end of the video of everything that I'm using. Hopefully I got a good lather there. If not, I'll go back to the puck. Nothing wrong with going back to the puck. This is straight up creamy greatness here in the tub here. <laughs> Still a losing badger before, believe it or not. I'm going to uh, here tilt my my hat to the back. This is my new custom El Chingon hat. What do you guys think? Oh, what does everyone think about it? It has my uh, name there, my nickname, shave name, El Chingon. <laughs> and my shave logo there that Rafa made for me a long time ago. I need a haircut. That's why I'm, I'm sporting it, uh, that hat right now. But uh, yeah, he, Rafa made me that uh that logo there when I first came out with my YouTube uh, channel and I appreciate Rafa very much as well for everything that he's uh, done for me. There's great people in this wet shave community and I truly appreciate everyone that's watching my videos, gives me support and just people that I talk to on, on a daily basis or every once in a while. I appreciate every single one of y'all and I truly mean that. Thank you. All right. Once again, let me put some water here on my knot and we'll start the process of the lather. Here we go. First line shave, uh, St. Louis Barbershop for y'all. Strong scent. Very bright when you open the tub there, just the aroma pops in your face. I got about Three days growth, almost four days growth since my last shave. I don't really like to shave if I don't have any growth. Especially when I'm using a uh, top-notch top notch soap like this one here. I want it to be worth it. I can't shave on a one day's growth or even two. It has to be a couple in my opinion. As you can see, the, the knot's very floppy. Almost no backbone to it. That's why I'm getting uh, re-knotted. Hope you can see the beautiful ladder this is producing. I 
first line shave is uh, medium dense, almost uh, high structure, but I would say it's medium dense soap in the cushion. Very a pleasure to use. This soap is amazing. I mean, any, every way you can think of. Just the ingredient list off the soap, it's fantastic. I got enough lather here for days and my brush is kicked. <laughs> As expected with first line shave. Like I was saying, top notch luxury soap in my opinion. And this is under my uh, five soap base uh, basis for uh, my top five. All right, using my KYN Designs Razor, this is a Barber's Notch. Since it's a barbershop themed soap, um, I just decided to pull this one out to match the colors of the label as well. And this is from KYM Designs, Matthias, all the way from uh, United Kingdom. So, gotta give my brother Matthias some love as well from the United Kingdom. All right, let's start the shave here. Phenomenal. So the soap is out right now. So make sure if you want to look, you go ahead and look at it and make your decision. I'm just telling you that I'm really happy to have this scent in my den and I'm glad I bought it because, um, I've been cutting a lot down on soap purchases, as you all know. I don't make, I don't produce um, a lot of videos like I used to, and that's because um, I'm trying to uh, just minimize my my shape, my buying from shaving. It's hard, believe me, when you see scents like this. It's just, it's just hard not to buy. But I love this soap so much, I bought another set today. I sure did. And I reached out to Michael, not like he doesn't know, you know, he gets the invoice as soon as I uh, purchase. But I just want him to know that I'm really proud of his work and uh, just overall sense yeah. it's truly truly a pleasure to use his sense <laughs> trying to uh, be careful here I am using an aggressive straight razor so Applying very light pressure. Great, great, great quality of the soap. As I was explaining medium dense quality of the cushion. It just feels amazing on my face. And uh, 
Let me get a rinse here. Pass one is done. <laughs> Can't argue with the uh, slickness that the soap provides. And what I mean by that is, it's a super duper slick soap. <laughs> so make sure you dry your hands well when handling an aggressive razor like the one I'm using. You want to dry your hands because it's very slippery. Got my... Uh, Lancaster design and uh, Lancaster uh razor works excuse me um right here to uh soak up all that slickness off the soap <laughs> because it's needed these these uh these sh shave towels are amazing if you have a chance to get one from Andrea at Lancaster do it because uh it's a great item to have in your shave then you're not trying to uh Clean up my razor here. I already rinsed my face. Let me apply a little bit more water to the knot here. And we'll start past two. <laughs> Phenomenal scent. I'm getting strong citrus. And as I was lathering on my face, I smell florals. From the florals that I described. But... This is in no way a, uh, what I'm trying to say is it's not a girly uh, a floral, it's a masculine floral. Man, you all know I love, love floral and my soaps, but this is, comes out more of a uh, citrus scent, but you do smell the background notes of the uh, floral, floral floral notes in the background and uh, to that best describe the scent is just a max, max masculine intoxicating dapper scent that's what I feel about this scent here I don't want to sound repetitive on on the scents that I've uh, done in my last couple of videos but this scent here smells luxury. And if you smell, you love smelling really, really fresh, just like, uh, how would I say? Just very fresh and citrusy with the, you know, uh, 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 like a, uh, It's hard to describe. It just smells intoxicating. It's very manly. I forgot I was going to go uh, uh, down again. It's across the grain this time. And to be honest with y'all, I don't think this scent here smells like anything I smelled. You know, that, um, anything that I smell that I, uh, just didn't like. I love this scent here. As soon as I opened the tub here, I knew I was going to love this scent. And I'm being honest with y'all. There was a, uh, when I got it that night and I showed it to my fiance and opened it, I told her, what do you think about this scent here? And her happy eyes <laughs> said, this smell, the smell of soap smells amazing. And I didn't even have to tell her anything about it. She said it herself that it smelled very unique. And she was like, babe, you got to get the cologne for that because she goes, if, you know, I love, I'm loving the scent of the soap. I was like, and she was like, you got to get the cologne. 
she had no clue I got the cologne. To my shoulder. <laughs> The razor is just gliding through my skin. The soap is providing great protection and uh, slickness. Superior. And I don't say a lot of. I don't say that uh, with a lot of soaps that I use, but I do say that with first line shave because this truly is. A special soap base. All right, now see the last for my most aggressive part on my face is my mustache, but this razor will take care of that. I have a very thick mustache. So yeah, I'm so happy that I got the trifecta. I mean, you do say five bucks. As the description says on uh, when you pull up the trifecta that you're saying five bucks off the combo, which is awesome. I believe it's 73 or 74 bucks for the trifecta. Five ounce aftershave. Wow, I got a baby butt smooth shave with just two passes. My face feels phenomenal and I love it. Chingon. <laughs> Chingon shave for me tonight. No blood. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Make sure you try this hand out. It's Chingon approved in my book. St. Louis Barbershop for y'all. Beautiful. Beautiful cologne, expensive smelling. This is what this smells like right here, like expensive cologne, like you get from, you know, uh, Nemus Marcus. When you go to those Nemus Marcus stores, they all they hold in their stores are just top-notch fragrances. And I haven't been to them, but I heard because I have friends that tell me, <laughs> I need to go try it out. I need to go over there and put some cologne on. I need to go smell the real Ventus, even though, a lot of people are tired of that scent. I absolutely love Aventus. And uh, yeah, this is what this soap smells like. A citrus, like a citrus bomb that smells luxury on your face with the added floral notes in the background just makes it smell intoxicating and very manly. <laughs> it's the best I can describe it. And uh, I'm gonna be trying some aftershave here and then some bomb, so. Brand new. Always great packaging from Michael too. Don't worry about the packaging. Your items will arrive safely to your door. And if not, reach out to Michael and he'll make it right for you. Great customer service always from Michael at First Line Shave. He makes his customers happy and that's the honest truth. Oh, great, great nourishing skin uh, ingredients in the aftershave as well. I need more for my neck here. It was a really classy, elegant looking square bottle here. I like that he offers these uh, five ounce bottles. And I hope he sticks with them because more is always better. <laughs> wow. I'm just in heaven right now. Truly barbershop heaven. And uh, by smelling this here, it just makes me feel good. I just feel like 
super rich. Like, you know, I'm just ready to take on the world. This is what the scent means to me. It feels to me in my opinion. Very nice dispenser for the bomb. I'm gonna put that much in. I squeeze two pumps out. And this is this is Michael Riley's new bomb here, so. Oh yeah, everything smells phenomenal. The splash went on super nicely, absorbed real quick. And this bomb here, as I'm feeling it, also feels real nice to the face. Feels great overall. Very nicely scented as well. It's not overpowering as a soap is. It's more of a, a medium scented soap. I mean, uh, scent on the bomb. And also on the uh, aftershave. But the soap is stronger. I would say scent description on the uh, soap would be an 8 in my opinion. Phenomenal products I use today. Thank you very much, Michael Riley. You're awesome, brother. And thank you, everyone, for your support. El Chingon truly appreciates y'all, every single one of y'all. And uh, hope y'all enjoy this scent as much as I do because it was truly a pleasure to use and to have in my den. It really is. Shout out to Recipes Kobe. We got a Kobe Bryant uh, USA basketball shirt on. Just thought I'd... I uh, use it, you know, show Kobe some love, even though he's passed already, but he's always a good player in my opinion, and I'm sure a lot of them, a lot of us miss him. I sure do. Cheers, everyone, once again. El Chingon says, have a great weekend, and thank you for watching. I truly appreciate y'all. I don't do these videos to you know, to have people, you know, subscribe to my channel. That's not what I'm about. I love to share these products here from awesome artisans. This is what El Chingon is all about. I've done it from day one and I will continue and continue doing it as long as God gives me the strength and will to do so. <laughs> but I want to give a shout out to Michael and and to Ra Razor Reyes for being a part of this awesome collaboration here. I have nothing but great things and happy words for this fragrance here. It was a pleasure to use. Once again, thank you very much for everyone that's watching. God bless you all and uh, good night. Much love and respect goes to everyone. Take care. See you on the next shave.